Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lucy, thanks for being here. And if you're not new, if you've watched my other videos, then love for you for coming back for another one. So who is feeling my new YouTube background? If you didn't see on my Instagram, then recently I went away for a weekend with work and my family came in the office and decorated it and did a cute little life of lucy background for me i'm literally obsessed with it cutest thing ever so yay for new background for filming so anyway going back to today's video so i've been talking about this for ages about filming a tutorial on how i blow dry my hair so my hair at the moment is basically dry because i had a bit of an eyelash drama but i couldn't find my glue but found it now so but my hair's basically dried in the process but that's fine i'm gonna put some heat protection spray on it and it doesn't really matter if it's basically dry anyway so i recently bought myself a new one of these which i'm buzzing about i had my old one for seven years and it still worked perfectly but the bristles just weren't as full as this um, so I just, that has got loads of my hair in, I'm really sorry about that, that's gross. <laughs> um, but I wanted a new one and the way it does my hair, I'm literally obsessed. So I thought, why don't I show you guys? So first things first, I just bought a cheap little Tresemme heat protection spray. I haven't even used it yet, so that's gonna be fun. Let me open this quickly. Should have definitely done this off camera. There we go. So just gonna spritz this all through my hair. If you think that I keep not looking at the camera, I'm really sorry about that. Above you, I've got this like screen thing that I can see what I'm doing, which is gonna be useful when I'm blow drying my hair. I'm spraying loads of this. I have really dry damaged hair. And we don't need it to be even more dry and damaged than it already is. So we've got our heat protection spray in now, and then I've just got a little clip just, I feel clips are easier than hair bands, they're quicker to get in and out. So I'm just going to section off all the top of my hair. Maybe I should have sprayed the heat protection spray in sections. I'll probably do that as well, you know. There we go. Okay, now we've just got this little short layer. I'm just gonna, I don't know if any protection got to this guy. So let's just spray some on him. So, taking my brush that is covered in hair, let's just get all that out. Rose. So here's the brush and here is the front of it. So this button is on and off, so I'm just gonna slide that up. And then you've got these buttons which decide which way the brush rolls. So you want it to be rolling down your hair, not up that way obviously, because then you'd be back brushing and then we'd be a frizzy mess. You want to dry your roots first because we need our roots to be big and dry to hold the hair up. I want the lift, I want the volume, you know? So at first, with the brush rotating, I brush through the roots like this until it's dried. And when I do that, I'm pressing the right hand button. Wait, does that look like left in the camera? I don't really know. When I look at the brush, that's the right hand button is what I press at the roots. And then when I'm bringing it down, oh, it's still the same. Okay, so I'm always doing the right hand button when my brush is down here. If I went backwards and did the brush up here, then I'd be pressing the left hand button. But after a few times of doing this, you will totally get used to it anyway. It's just because I've been doing it so long that my fingers just go to the buttons, you know? This is like glued to my hand. So taking a section of hair that's not thicker than this, because otherwise it can get a bit tangled. So I'm just gonna take this, and then I'm going to go through the, br the, br the brutes. Go through the roots with the right hand button and then I'm gonna wrap the lower half round and just pre keep pressing the right button and have the hair rotating and then it's gonna do a little curl. I feel like I'm really bad at explaining this, but let's go. So now the roots are dry and I've been brushing them up. I don't wanna brush them down because I want the volume, the lift. Now I'm just gonna throw that bit of hair around there when the brush is going, keep pressing the right hand button and it will do a cute little curl. Then I just run through it with my fingers like that just to twirl it around and there is our first cute little curl. These curls drop, so don't worry if you're like, why have I got like a 2009 Taylor Swift or whatever. So yeah, these will drop. We'll just have a nice gorgeous bounce at the end. So now I'm gonna do the rest with this back bit of my hair. Do the rest with this back bit. Do the same with this back bit. 
So this is quite thick, so I'm gonna just get rid of that top half, add that to my bun, and then do the same. Right, here's why sometimes I use the left brush. So right now I could do what I've just done and be going under here like this, but that would be quite hard to reach. So I'm gonna go round and brush up instead, and I'll be using the left hand brush for that. Uh, the left hand button. I can't talk today. The left hand button, but if you're doing this and you're like, what is she actually talking about? Then just give it a go and you'll know if you're pressing the wrong button because it'll be like back brushing your hair and going the wrong way for your hair. Whereas if you're going the right way, it goes with your hair. Let's go. And then I'm bringing the brush around, down again, and I'm gonna wrap that round and now it's the right hand button. Ooh. And let's not let my hair get caught with it. Cute two little curls. Let's get that other bit of hair down and just do the same again. So left hand button because I'm going up and then right hand button when I bring it down. first bit done. I hope you're going along with this and feeling like you're understanding. The reason I like brushing the roots up to dry is just because I really want the volume but it's not looking like much volume at the moment but because the main section of volume comes from this bit of hair. We'll come on to that. Now I'm just going to do the same again for this side and then we'll move on. I'm just going to speed this up so not to bore you. when I'm doing this front bit I don't use the left brush and do it up I think because it's just easier to reach I'm just using the right button for both parts but do whatever feels best for you just make sure you dry those roots first because that is where the volume comes from Now we've got those cute little bouncy curls going on. We, oh, I forgot about this part. Back in a minute. these curls right so now we're just gonna do the same again but taking another section down I put my camera at a really funny height because I wanted it to be able you to be able to have my face what else do you want to see but then I'm like I have to go my tiptoes for my hair I have to bend down like this to show you some parts you can tell I'm amateur but hopefully you're enjoying it anyway so now we're gonna take another section because I was having to clip up bits last time, I'm just gonna take a thinner section than that. So, there we go. So, left button for up, right button for down, let's go. Oh yeah, and then through the fingers. Thank you. 
Okay, so I just started doing that with my left, but also like I said before, because things were getting pulled up in it there. You can just do this with the right button down here rather than left up here. So let's give that way a go too. Every other bit of hair wants to join in with this bit, but I'm just going with it. Now, because we've got a, quite a thick bit of hair now, because other bits kept randomly being like, let me in. When I wrap this around here, I'm gonna pinch it like this to make sure it doesn't spread and get my hair caught. So here's Lucy's pro tip. If you pinch the hair, then it won't spread out across the brush and it will just stay nice and tight in the middle. So let me show you what I mean. So you can see it's too thick. But if I pinch it, oh yeah. Okay. You know, oh, I might not be pro at filming or at hair really, but there is a tip. Oh my god, what is going on? I live for bouncy hair. Don't worry if your hair's looking a bit fluffy, you can always put some oil in at the end because I've got super fluffy hair. Oh, I didn't put heat protection spray on that bit. Oh, sorry hair. Oh, sorry hair. I'll put it in the next bit. So, as I was saying earlier, the most important part is like your middle bit down the middle. That is where we want the most like zhuzh. You know, that's what we're going to be flipping all around. So, I'm just going to that bit out that I want all my bounce and making sure it's not thicker than the brush that looks just about okay and then we'll clip him just at the back of my head out of the way what a look and now oh, I can't even see there we go right now we're just going to do the same again on these bits and then for the crucial bit on again anybody would think I was out to get my hair flip I realized from watching myself in here that I just throw the bottom bit around I don't wrap it carefully I'm just like Bleh. but if you want to wrap it carefully you do that Now we've just got to make sure we get the volume up here and we are glam. Just gonna take that back section and then clip this guy forward. So in this mohawky place is my parting somewhere, but we don't want our hair to fall into the parting until right at the very end. So using the left button, my left, I'm just gonna keep blow drying up again, those roots and then just bring it round to either side and do as we do. So let's get going with the crucial bit. Also, another one of my pro tips, if you've got super thick hair and you feel like just blow drying the back of the roots isn't enough. So left hand to do this, but left hand, left button to do this but also right button you can bring it around and dry the front of the roots as well if you feel like you need to do that cool next part of this section there we 
mosquito. Clipping him to the side again. This is bringing me kind of back to when I used to have like full on side fringe side clip down. Life. Two things. One, my quads or whatever are going to be on fire at the end of this, all the squatting I'm doing. Two, these roots, the, the top part of your hair is what's going to give the most volume. So really want to be drying these directly up. These need to be legit. And then just throwing the hair back, not into a parting just yet. Sectioning off another bit. Over here this time. Oh god, you know I've forgotten that flipping spray again. Put a little bit on him. I feel like I just got my hand really, but oh well. When you are doing this top bit, it doesn't matter which side you bring it round to to curl the bottom, just as long as we are doing those roots up. I feel like, I hope it looks like a glow because I'm sweating. Right, here there's about two sections left and the front section we're not gonna be blow drying back because I want a kind of like sultry look at the front. Um, so when we split this in two, this section's gonna be different, this section the same as what we've been doing. And then throw that back. And now this guy. This guy, we're gonna blow dry forward. So, you say, what button are you going to press? I say, I don't know. Uh, right. And if your hair is short enough, we're just gonna try and loop it all in together. Just like a big rolly brush like that and do it. If it's not, once again, just do the roots again and then bring it down all with the right button. But I'm gonna try and just do it all in one. Then what I do is flip all my hair forward and then all back for the good. All right. Woo! Okay. Now let's get this baby into place. Let it fall into your natural parting. Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, stop. I love big hair. Right, I'm just gonna run through it with my fingers. So the curls aren't as like 2009, whatever I said earlier. And then just be zhuzhing this. You see how that's come forward? That's because we blow dried it forward rather than backwards. It's a nice side from the side. It's a nice side. Oh, she's hiding behind her hair. <laughs> and then just shush it up. You can flip it over. You've got all that volume. You've got the curls. Flip it this way. As you can see, I'm not looking at you at all. I'm just looking at my hair because I freaking love it so much. Like, this is my favorite thing to do with my hair. Sorry, but flat hair, I haven't heard of her. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I love, look at the volume, literally I can't handle. And Curly has my fave. Now I'm ready for a night out. It's like two o'clock on a Saturday and it's raining outside and I'm not going out tonight, but who cares? So I can go and take selfies with my new Big hair. I love it and I hope you love it. And if you have one, so let me just grab it. So it's called a Babylon's Big Hair. It looks like this. It's about 40 pounds in boots, I think, or I bought mine from Tesco. And it has saved me hmm, a million pounds from going to the hairdresser and getting a blow dry for a night out. I mean, it's so good. 40 pounds. It lasted me seven years till I wanted to buy a new one and I use it every weekend without fail. I just think it makes such a difference to how I feel. I feel glam, I feel good. I feel like I've got my life together. So, back on track. 
I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I made sense. If I didn't make sense, just ask me a question because I'll be more than happy to answer. If you have one or if you go out and buy one and you follow this tutorial, please let me know and send me pictures of your amazing big hair. I cannot wait to see and I love you all for sticking with me through this video. Let me know in the comments what else you want to watch and have a great rest of your day, babies. Bye.